All right, and welcome to episode 15 of our Midway se uh, series. I'm building the, I decided to call this region Midway. There's a bunch of islands, and I thought that was just sounded neat. So we're here in our amusement park city, which already has a lot of traffic coming in the road. And you can see this entrance sometimes splits it, but sometimes doesn't. So I'm I'm thinking I'm going to take the beginning of this episode and build this into an interesting three-way intersection. So hopefully it all works out the way I'm, I want it to. I'm going to take out this town hall and we're going to pause because it's daylight and... I don't want anything not to have approvals. I also don't want to lose the middle of this road. Which actually I suppose I could draw one across here. Just want to make sure I have some okay guidelines. Maybe like right here. Looks to be halfway. I just don't want to lose the, the halfway marker because, well, it's halfway. <laughs> So I'm actually going to back this all the way up over here, because I think we're going to make this entrance to the city all underground, uh, if, if, as much as possible. I don't know where my water table is here. I suppose, I suppose I should have checked on that first, huh? Oh yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to be making many tunnels. So maybe, maybe it'll have to be all bridgy. Because that kind of sucks that I can't do tunnels. Ain't gonna happen. Alright. Well, we will do it this way then. So I want each side to have an entrance and an exit. I think. I'm kind of planning this as I go. <laughs> so I want to have. This side come in like here somewhere and then exit out over here. And then we can do the same with this side. Oh, yes, yes. I really don't even like the one on the other side here because I can't get it to draw <laughs> something that I like. Uh, and then why is this all weird? So we may just end up completely redoing this. I, I have a better idea. Here's what we're going to do. This... And this. And we're actually going to make <clears throat> complete entrances and exits for each side. So I'm thinking somewhere like here would be a good spot to start.
I want to get these roads the same, uh, as close to the same as I can. It's close. And this, I want to extend just a little bit, like to here maybe. And then um, we'll do two sets of exits. And hopefully people don't like shortcut so bad. <laughs> You know Sims, they love their shortcuts. So, make this a nice... Let's go this way, actually. Make this a nice little angle. Or a, you know, curve. And we want... Let's see here. This side is going out, that side's going out. So this side is actually just going to connect somewhere along here. Right, again, I'm going to complain about it. If I had one-way one -way roads, there wouldn't be nearly this much issue. I wonder if I should switch it up. Bring the one from this side all the way over here. I wonder how I wonder if that would. Oh, come on. Give me that one. Oh, so close to the edge. What if I just come in? Come in. Oh, I don't like that. Damn, that's so close too. What if I do it this way? Put this back at like 490. Okay. Okay. Close enough. And then we'll do it this way. Except that I need to see the bottom part here. <laughs> we'll bring this in like this. And then we'll bring this in over here. Eh, looks kind of cool, actually. <laughs> and then these two... Because, see, the, the, then they're going the correct way, right? Because this road goes this way in America. goes, you know, uh, up from my location. <laughs> and uh, the same with this road. They come in this way, and they can get off here and go in that way. And then this one should be their leaving town coming this way and just get off here and continue on the road here. It's all about right turns. Um, but if I could force them to, these would be one-way roads, but I promised I wouldn't complain about that. So then. Oh, by the way, got a little bit of a new audio setup. Hope you guys like it. If the balance is a little off or something, let me know. Um, I also turned off my um, game music because... Uh, I forgot about YouTube. Uh, they're flagging it for content issues and whatever, and I don't want any arguments. So we're just going to turn off the game music for now. Um, I'm, I'm open to suggestions for music. If somebody's got music for my series and you don't mind me playing it and while I, you know, play the game, I don't want to step on any copyright issues. So, but if you if you have some some music for me to play, let me know. But anyway, now it's time to do our. Um, our, uh, the, the other side. <laughs> we want one road to go here, and let's see, because this one, one of these needs to go over the top here, so let's go 
Like this. Oop. Oh, I don't want the whole thing. Come on. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this here. No, am I going the right way on this here? People coming into the city to go into that one. Yes, I am doing it the right way. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. I want a better curve than it's giving me. And I think I can do it. I go like this. Oh, it won't let me draw it in like that, huh? Too close there. And it won't let me go over the top. Alright. What if I do it like this? <laughs> I'm being a little meticulous. I uh, <laughs> I want these two to be even, so I'm gonna do it like this. Make sure the roads are straight there. And then Oh, it's too close to, to there even, huh? See, I can do it there. <laughs> can I just take part of Can I just take this section off? There we go. Now there's no intersection. <laughs> and I can go like that. And then when I bulldoze this, it's the right length. Reconnect, and these two should be even to make a nice half circle. As soon as I raise it. Oh, except that it's going to hit the damn road. <laughs> Can I back it off one? No, because then I can't connect. This is getting to be real pain in my ass. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna come straight out of here. I'm gonna use this to go over the top. Curve it in here. If I can get a nice curve on it. There. A uh, little bit of a texture issue here. Uh, let's try it again. I didn't like the way that came out. Yes, I'm being picky. But. I think it'll look good when I'm done, so I don't mind being a little picky. Besides, it's easy to make money in this game, so I might as well have fun building cool looking cities. I was thinking about, I could make it like concentric circles almost, I wonder if I can get it the right size. I just, I'm trying for a smoother road slope. <laughs> and it doesn't seem to want to cooperate very well. But that might actually work. And so we'll go straight from there, straight from there. See if I can get what I'm using. Huh? Huh? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Little stub of a road. Oh, 
And this one, I'm going to take straight up here. This. And right about there, we'll convert it into one of these. Then I just got to do the corner. It's a pretty cool intersection, and it was fun to build. Now, whether it actually helps anything or not, we'll see. <laughs> But I do think <clears throat> that it would allow us to do this. Are the how are these not the same? Yeah, I was gonna say, but I don't like the look of that. Like, yeah, that makes those intersections really weird. Although, what if we do this here? Yeah, see, that's what's making that weird. This is another little trick. If it's road glitching like that on the on the um, intersection, you can usually, and I say usually because not always, you can usually do something like this, where you change the density so you get an intersection, and then you switch the density again so that they match. See? You fix the intersection. Now, let's see if I like the way these oddly pointed intersections work. Mmm. I don't know. Let's try one more thing to decide. I'm gonna put down uh, put down a town hall because that's why that's why I would do this is to be able to put the town hall right here. Hmm. I could go either way on that. Uh, and what I should do here, too, is change these road densities, so... These should really be medium. There we go. I think, uh, I think we'll do, I think we'll leave it that way. Alright, resume the game. Good, there's some traffic. Let's see how they traverse the city here. See, this is kind of what I was afraid of. I didn't want people to do that. Well, because then everybody just uses the one intersection. So let's take this out and see what happens. Because I can always put Town Hall right down here, too. Does everybody still come in this way? Because that's the shortest way. See, that's not the point. <laughs> this is why I want one-way roads. Because then I can actually make this... I can make an intersection like this do what it's supposed to do. Instead of this. Which is not what it's supposed to do. What if I just take out this shortcut? give them the option of only right turns or straight which it looks like they all would take <laughs> mm -hmm. a couple of them are taken different ways let's let that I like it that way right now
Let's see how. Well, I, I want to see, you know, a traffic time. There we go. There's still a lot of people using this one. What if we had one that came out from here and attached like over here somewhere? But we need a straight road off of it. Like this. And then we did something like that. Oops. I need to move this other one closer here. And then I need to straighten this one out. I want these to be the same distance, but I don't know that I can get this trick to work. It's too close to existing intersection there. <clears throat> so... Oh, that's actually pretty good. Could do that. I'd like it to be lower like there, but I don't know that it'll work there. I mean, it says it won't, so... Huh, that should do alright. There, now, now it's a little bit different. <laughs> I don't know if it's better, but it's different. Oh, and we should put Town Hall back in. I think we'll just put it down here. For now. We can move it later. And I still need to figure out how to get... how to do exits for people. Because the only residents I have are right here. <laughs> and this doesn't even read correctly yet. And I think there might be an update that fixes some of that, but... Here we go. we got people mostly going on this one. But there's a few that are going over here. I think this needs to be low density. In fact, we could make all of these low density. Although this one actually should be like high density, because then it just goes straight through. It's just thinner. <laughs> that should help keep traffic flowing kind of through here so it doesn't back up quite so bad. And everyone should only be taking rights off of here. They can take lefts to get out of here, but they're going to go slower because it's just, you know, metered out. And that's good because this exit you know, it goes down to one lane depending on which way you're going, so it can be a real pain in the ass if you have too many cars trying to get out at the exact same time. So, 
I think I like it. I'm gonna leave it. Now, let's see what we got going on for jobs and stuff. Yeah, every, we got people commuting in. I mean, like, honestly, we don't have that many jobs, but... We definitely want to put some commercial in this city. Because I know some, uh... Some commercial would do really well right over here. So we're gonna do that. Back with the zone. Yep, the whole thing without hitting the airport. And I think this city is gonna be mostly medium wealth residents. Let's see. Ah, it's time to upgrade our amusement park. Speaking of, I need a name for this city, so if anybody has a suggestion, you know, if you're watching this after the fact on YouTube, you can uh, leave me a comment, or, you know, if you're watching right now, drop me a line on the, in the Twitch chat room, and I am open to suggestions, so. It's time to place... Oh, oh it's uh, demolished one of these two. It's time to place another... Oops. We get two more of these. So we have one of those. We have carousel. We put in a swings ride. Why not? And keep in mind we're gonna rearrange this this park some too when we get to some of the bigger stuff. Cause uh, I can like the Bigfoot roller coaster. This thing's pretty big. Ooh, I like that actually. Well, let's just put that down for now, and we'll deal with that in a little bit. Cause there's also like you can put a train in you can do there's all sorts of crazy stuff you can do so we're gonna make a fun amusement park city it's gonna be a lot of people in this city by the time we're done with it not not residents just tourists um we can put another one of these let's do a twirly one of these oh look at that that's right in and i think the last thing we did was a snack cart so here let's do a balloon cart going this way We'll do a concession stand kind of over here. Popcorn stand. Catch people along the way, you know, toy stand. <laughs> we'll put a couple benches in. One here. Put them between these. Because who knows, we might end up keeping parts of this park. Depending on if we like them. So, we're finally making money in our amusement park, which is great. Not a ton of money, but some. It's filling up. No, it's filling up pretty good now. I'm going to say it was only filling up about halfway, but now we're getting more like two thirds. No, not quite, but getting there. So, we're also going to build our. <coughs> people into into this area are like I was saying are medium wealth residential and I think I'm gonna use small trick so first we're gonna come off of here like this Our space right here And then we are going to intersect this road. Oh, perfect. And come over here like this. Now we can even intersect that road. And then this trick I learned is to help zone um, for medium wealth people. And so you do one sideways, and then you do one there. And then he does it. And then you start extending this. And when you do it too wide, then you pull up the guides. The too wide acts like a road. I mean, it's the same size. So when you put one here, 
the density is perfect. It fits. And on top of that, when you have the tall tree rows in, yeah, if I can get them to fit. Let's see, I think we'll do two and then a cross street. Uh, yeah, let's do this other road here. And then I can turn my guides off. They get in the way most of the time, but some of the time they're helpful. There we go. Now we'll be able to fit two, well, I mean in here four, but they're all um, medium wealth, high density buildings. And the zoning, as you can see, it, like, it fills out that entire area because of the parks in the middle. So it's nice and helpful like that. I'm going to do the same thing here. Here and one here. That's right there. And we'll delete that. And then we'll connect the road over here. And then honestly, where that's placed, I kind of want to just come out to the middle of this road. Uh, like this? A little more. Well. That's actually pretty darn close. Oh, there we go. We'll have a little extra room in this one. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I don't mind. I think it'll look good. And how does that look? Not good. How does this look? Okay, but not great. we do a couple of these, though. Just to kind of fill that corner out. But I think, yeah... This side is too close for a high density building to, to build. So, yeah, let's just do the one at the corner here. That'll work perfect. Oh. That reminds me, we are going to quickly go to the other cities and send vehicles over to this city. Because we don't want to have to worry about that for a while. <clears throat> hey, fellow boss, nice to see you. I try to keep monitoring the chat, but you might have snuck up on me a little bit. <laughs> All right, now, in addition to having stolen some money from this city, we're also going to steal some of its stuff. We want to send it some trucks. And some trucks. And some more trucks. These are cars. <laughs> and a van. I don't think we're going to infect it with, uh, <laughs> with Omega. Uh, I, think we're, I think we're fine there. Let's go back to the city, let it run for just a minute to let the approvals... Or let the, let the vehicles share across the cities. How do you have backed up pipes? You're doing totally fine. Do we have all these turned on? I believe we do. But it's really not. I mean, it's not really backed up. It's just whining. Like they do. We're totally fine. And of course, we're still buying power from our neighbor because he's got a shit ton. Speaking of, we'll go visit Intelligary Mesa. and send the trucks that are in here over to our amusement park city. And it looks like everything's actually going pretty well in this city. Still got a ton of, ton of power coming out of here. This is the one that's powering the entire city. 
Oh yes, recording for YouTube, Teleboss. You actually you missed most of the the beginning of the broadcast, but no worries. My schedule for SimCity, I generally um, try to stream for about an hour on on most weeknights from about uh, seven to eight Central U.S. time, somewhere in there. I'm I'm usually a little late, just depends on <laughs> on what's going on. Uh, weekends, it's kind of open. I, I tend to stream a lot on weekends because I don't work. But uh, it just depends on what's going on. It's also I. It's kind of listed in my my Twitch channel. It's not that specific either, which is because it, because I I don't have very specific times. I kind of try to stick to the weeknight thing, but it's not always it doesn't always work out. Sometimes I just want to spend the night with my wife. So, whatever, get off my back. <laughs> oh, whoops. We want to go into this city. Oh, we need to let this run for just a second. No, but thanks for watching on, on YouTube too, Thelaboss. I hope everything transfers well and. Speaking of, do you like my new. Uh, I just I moved the microphone, so I, I'm hoping it's a little bit closer. Um, I don't know if it's too loud or I'm, I'm balanced, but I'm hoping it's at least a little bit clearer. This intersection, I serious. I'm gonna cry one more time about it. One way frickin' roads. If I could have them, I would be so happy, and this would work. <laughs> But that's probably enough time for the uh, the trucks to get over there. So we'll go back into our amusement park city. And we're going to start zoning our uh, residential and such in this city. But... Let's double check on some things here. Oh yeah, still got like a thousand megawatts of power we can get from the region. Tons of water still available. There's lots of water in this region too. Uh, sewage is doing just fine. Yeah, see, there's, there's lots of. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad the the microphone sounded a little better. But yeah, there's lots of water in in here, and uh, so we're doing good there. Sewage is fine in the region. Now our garbage is being picked up because I sent some trucks over here, and it's easily being picked up. So I think we'll leave that one alone for now. You know what's nice about this? That at least, I mean, it, the whole thing doesn't work exactly as planned because, you know, one-way roads. Alright, I'm sorry. I swear to God, last time I, meant, <laughs> I mentioned them. <laughs> but uh, at least they do seem to be splitting up a little bit, you know, quite a bit more um, between both, you know, both sides of the road and you know, leads to roads in here, so it's going to help congestion at least at that entrance a bit. But, on to the zoning. I think we have enough room to fit a high-density building back here. Oh yeah, plenty of room. So we, we might do that too, but for now, we're just going to zone here, and here, and here, and here. I really should have come out one, huh? Like I did here from this road, I should have come out one from this road. Meh. That's okay. Only people live here. <laughs> yeah, like seriously, this is Cities of Tomorrow. Do we not have one-way roads in the future? <laughs> This is going to get backed up, but I really expected it would. And to, in all honesty, if I want to go for realism, it needs to back up. Like, have you ever been to an amusement park? It's crazy. Sticky. Oh, 
I'm sorry, you have a, a green name and I'm trying to read it. One of many Pauls. <laughs> hey, honestly, I don't know why Twitch does that. It's kind of annoying. Um, but uh, which intersection did you want to see? Because I did this one at the entrance to this amusement park city. And then there's the other one in Intelligere Mesa. I know, there's a lag, sorry. In the meantime, Thelabas, what was what was seeming sticky? Come on. I just don't want this long side over here, but whatever. And then I think we're going to do the same again on the next side. Uh, so I need this, and this, and this. So, yeah, one of many Pauls. Um, I'll be happy to explain... Uh, well, really, any intersection I build you, to you, but w which one were you talking about? Oh, sure. Never mind. You ignore that question. You, I, w I just was too impatient for the lag. <laughs> so, the idea of this one, and I, I, it was a little bit different, but I had to rearrange it. Um, so, the idea of this one was. I had a direct route here, and it made most of a circle, so I continued it over here, and it was a full circle. Um, oh, I don't think you can change the color of your name. It just, Twitch randomly gives them to you, and, and I just, it's stupid that that's one of the colors. Anyway, <laughs> so, so the idea here was that you would either be, let's say you're coming into the city. You'd be coming into the city here, and then you could take a right <clears throat> to get onto this road. Or, you could continue and take a right to get onto this road coming to the city. So that's your two roads in. Let's say you're getting out of the city. Well, initially my idea was you can leave the city this way. You know, you can just straight out and take a right. Or if you're coming from this one, you would just connect right here because of that circle. Well, because SimCity doesn't have one-way roads, this became a shortcut and everybody took that road. <laughs> So, so I, can't, I couldn't do anything about it. So um, I disconnected that and decided to connect it over here, which, again, still looks cool, but um, helps to balance, seems to help to balance out the traffic a little bit more. Oh, look, drones coming in from other cities. So um, anyway, yeah, so it helps to balance out the traffic a little more, and it seems fairly balanced for now. We'll see what it looks like when, uh, when I, I only have like a 1,000 people visiting my city. We'll see what it looks like when I have 50,000 people visiting my city, you know? Um, and let's actually do this one for tall. Two. Two. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, maybe here? It looks kind of janky, but... I think I'm okay with it. I'm bring this over some. Because we need to connect this side. And then we zone. And we zone. You can change it. See? Durr. Good job, fellow boss. I didn't... <laughs> Apparently I don't pay attention. Or at least enough attention. <laughs> so now I want to see how these grow. Or how these do as far as traffic goes when, when people are trying to get into the city.
Which honestly, they seem to be pretty good. And how much room do I have here? Like, could I fit? Oh, look at that. I could actually fit a high density building. Hmm. Something like that? No. Meh, whatever. Oh, no, I'm, I'm always open to uh, suggestions. Um, one of many Pauls. <laughs> I like your name, by the way. Um, so if you have any suggestions for, for me to, to make intersections better, I, I'm all for it. Um, and I am happy to explain the other one in a little bit here. I just want some of these to grow. See, I got these hotels growing up, so I want to see how stuff grows up in this city. And I want to try to upgrade this again. See, the city's, like, full, or the, the amusement park's, like, full of people, but they're not paying me any money. <laughs> Maybe it just takes a while. Well, I'll see you later, fellow boss. Good to see you around. Let's check some commute stuff. Now, I think we should put a bus station right here. Or a bus stop, rather. Right there. But otherwise, we're fairly well covered with the park and ride, so I think we're going to leave that alone. We got 3,000 riders a day there. Oh, mostly residents. Okay. Mostly workers. A thousand of those, mostly tourists. Which is good. So, we're, not, we're nowhere near capacity on our stations. And we have a lot of tourists coming in for, per day for, like, high wealth and stuff. So we should be able to build some good casinos. It looks like we got a good mix of tourists coming in. If we want casinos in the city, which I think we do, they make a lot of money, and it'll be fun in the amusement park city. It'll be a little bit like Atlantic City. <laughs> which, this chart is nice, too, because, yeah, see, we don't have enough... Hmm... Right, we would have trouble getting enough um, tourists into the city right now versus what our capacity is, so. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good suggestion, one of many Pauls. Um, he says that, because uh, obviously if you're watching on YouTube or something, you can't see the chat. But <laughs> he says that... Um, he wanted another person's city that big rides and concession stands are where you make most of your money in amusement park cities. And that's definitely true. Uh, it, definitely in life, I know that <laughs> concession stands are where they make most of their money, so um, it, it, it would only make sense to hold true in the game. Um, the big rides, I wanted to see, because I, I didn't check when I put it down, I wanted to see... Oh, this is at 75 riders each, because this boat one has 50, and it's the big one of the small rides. So it's got 50 ride capacity. And this one, like, the go-karts only got 20. I already have the roller coaster. Oh, the Ferris wheel's got 100. And that... Damn it, I should have put the... Should have put this on this side. And I'll move it, actually. I'm gonna move it right now. I have the money. So I think we might need to extend this. Hey, little Ruben. Good to see you again. You guys all show up at, like, the end of my stream. You know, I'm done in about ten minutes here. <laughs> so, yeah, let's put this over here, and then... Oh, well. We'll put the first wheel down next on the other side. Because I want the first wheel, like, uh, out here by the corner.
And I'm wondering if we can get this to... Yeah, these, these roads don't like to intersect. That sucks. So we got a lot of people here, we're making money. A lot of people here and we're making money. I could actually just look at tourism. Yeah. 136,000 profit yesterday from tourists. Excellent. <laughs> I need to stream. See, that's the thing, Little Ruben, is I, I get home from work around 6 o'clock or so, and then I want to eat some dinner and stuff, so I stream from, I try to stream from like 7 to 8, but it usually ends up being more like 7.30 to 8.30, or like tonight, 7.45, to, <laughs> you know, so I end up being a little late. Um, but, you know, I can't stay up too late because i got to work early in the morning. But I do always put my stuff on YouTube, Little Ruben, so you can catch up. I want these to grow up, but they're taking their sweet time. Let's see here. How close are they? Oh, not very close. Alright. These grow up real fast. Like, boom. And now it says that they're not educated, and yet, it's a little tough to see right now, but you can see that they're green. <laughs> Garbage and recycling being picked up. No fires. No nah, one injury. We will have to put in a, a hospital sometime. Oh, thanks, the little group, and I'm glad at least someone's watching. <laughs> Looks like we've got a few more people up here. Still, this intersection seems to be working fairly well. Um, I've, I'm sure I've said it before on my stream, but I'll mention it again. When you intersect a low-density road into uh, an avenue or, or even another high-density road, it creates a stop sign if you're on the, de uh, the low-density road but nothing if you're on the high density. So, um, it is really good for intersections for making interchanges because, as you can see, people are able to flow and exit off of the, the quote-unquote freeway uh, much more easily. Um, and then getting back on there in order to avoid so much congestion on this, you know, avenue slash freeway, whatever you want to call it, um, it works to, uh, to, it does, has a stop sign. So, if you've ever you know, driven in California, or I'm sure to many, many other places, they have uh, metered on ramps, where they have like a little stoplight, lets you know, you know, one car per green, <laughs> and uh, so, so it's kind of like that. So it helps to to ease the congestion of people getting onto the 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 highway, um, which is really good right here because this exit it splits it off into single lanes, and they just Sims get stupid trying to leave the city and just clog everything up. So. <laughs> How's this coming along? I see all kinds of people there, but why am I not making money? Oh, because it's just past midnight. Okay, I made twenty. All right, I made almost twenty grand yesterday. Never mind. I was I was gonna say this is stupid. How am I not? I just keep looking at it at the wrong times. <laughs> These hotels are growing up nicely, though. Looks like we got plenty of uh, low wealth tourists coming in. Lots of high wealth, too. Mm, and we need to figure out better ways to get... Man, we have a lot of low and medium wealth tourists to get in the city, and I don't know how else to get them in. I mean, I literally have every type of mass transportation except for streetcars, and I probably will put those in soon. Oh, that's a good idea, too. Where am I going to put streetcar tracks? Ooh, maybe because I did leave this open. Maybe I can have streetcar tracks come out around here and like across here to, to let people off and then I'll, I'll intersect them up here so they can, because people will walk on streetcar tracks. Actually, uh, let's start doing that. That seems fun. 
So I got about ten minutes, uh, or about eh, about five minutes here and left. Just to guess. But, here, first we need to upgrade this road. And then, uh, we don't want the guides. Come off here. Oh, and there's a bus, <laughs> of course, that bus stop I put down. There we go. And then we can come up. We're going to try to get these to the same, about the same distance. So it makes a hopefully nice curve around this. There we go. Road grade to steep. Oh, there we go. Let's see how that looks without the bright blue line. Yeah, it's a little bit of a jump, but that looks pretty cool going around the back of that there. And then I think we can actually take another one along the back here. Maybe. Oh, had it. Mirror. Oh. So close. <laughs> I hate it when there's just one little spot that what you're trying to do will work. There we go. Oh, cool. And they can turn all ways, and that's actually an okay intersection. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> so then I think we'll take this and go over to here. Can we... Go over here. And I don't think we actually have to intersect. Because, I, I mean, we can't. Where, where I would like to, I was just like right here, you know, but I, I don't want to actually create an intersection there. So I think I can do this. Connect this, and oh, I, I would have to put one of the things on here. But I think that's close enough that, like, oh, can you not jump over? I mean, seriously, just walk across the. <laughs> oh, I had it. That's what I wanted. Ugh, that's terrible, though. Let's try this here. Let's see if I can get this back into what I'm trying for. Come on. Oh. Okay. That's weird. The whole thing's a bridge? Oh, I see. Alright, let's just do it this way. We'll rebuild the bridge. Something like that. That's the kind of thing I was really trying to avoid. Oh, that's terrible. What if I draw it back over this? That I like. Track's not exactly smooth. I don't terribly feel like messing with it too much. Although, I, I really could. I could probably take those two out and actually make a semi-smooth transition, maybe.
There we go. And this is only slightly janky, and I can deal with that. I'm, I'm okay with that. There. So now there's actually a connection. People can walk along these. We're going to actually put um, some streetcar tracks in, too, so that will look good. Or some streetcar, you know, um, stops. But we're going to leave that for another time. Buses, Rodriguez. Yes, there, there are already buses coming into the city real quick. Uh, I can show you. Got 4,000 riders a day. Um, we're going to put some more bus stops in. We're going to work on more transportation, but that'll be on next episode. So if anybody wants to catch me live, I'll catch, see you tomorrow night uh, around about 7 o'clock Central United States time. I don't know where everybody is. If you want to catch me live on Twitch, that's where you can. You can also follow me on Twitch. You'll be notified when I go live. Uh, or if you uh, happen to miss me, you can always watch my stuff on YouTube. I try to post it as quickly as possible, but it takes a little bit of time for processing. So if you subscribe to my channel there, you can catch when I put new videos up there. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I will see you another time.